Welcome to Decision Space Geophysics. This video will demonstrate how to improve a basic velocity model by adding wells, time depth curves, and surface picks to the model. As you can see, this previous model also filled in the information for the geometry resolution. Now we will add time depth curves to our velocity model. Start by clicking the Add Wells icon. This will bring up the Select Wells dialog. Here we have selected one of the well lists that we have loaded to our session. Note the filtering options available for well lists as well as for wells within the selected well list. Now we need to select all the wells from this well list that we want to use and click Apply. In this case we've selected all of them. Now that the wells are loaded in, we can choose which time depth curve to use for each well. To do this, select the table icon in the time depth curve field of a selected well. This will bring up a dialog box where you can select which time depth curve you'd like to use for that well. There are simple as well as advanced search and filtering options available here. After selecting an appropriate time depth curve for each well, keep in mind that you can choose not to use a certain well by unchecking the use box. Now we will add well surface picks to our velocity model. Start by clicking the Add Surface Picks icon. This will bring up a new dialog. Select the well list you'd like to choose surface picks from, and then select any surface picks you'd like to use in your model. Notice the filtering options available here. Once you're satisfied with the surface pick selections that you've made, click Apply. Now we will select which time horizons to add to our surface picks. Click the icon in the Time Horizon field of a specific surface pick. A new dialog will appear with a list of time horizons available for that surface pick. Notice the familiar filtering options available in this window. Select which horizon you'd like to use and click OK. Once you have selected appropriate picks and time horizons, notice that you can select interwell points from the dropdown. Once you're satisfied with the surface pick information, be sure to check the Use box so that they will be applied in your Velocity model. We covered the Define Structure portion of the Velocity Modeling Wizard in Part 1 of this tutorial, but here you can see that we have five formations and we will build our model with this. For this model, you can see that we've chosen to apply the default formation for our seismic velocity. To double check your input into your Velocity model, you can check the Model Parameters report. When you're satisfied with everything, click build model. In this typical decision space desktop layout, you can see that we've displayed our new velocity model in the active section view. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information on this or any of our other products, please visit our website at landmarksoftware.com.